Good morning. I'm Selena Sigafuse Jackson, and I'm the Vice President of the International Chiropractors Association, coming to you today for our weekly update. You know, my dad used to say that you can fool a lot of people, but you can't fool your kids. How true is that? You know, all six of us children became chiropractors, and you know, his thought was where we saw the good, the bad, the ugly in practice. It was a home office and literally the office was a paper thin door from the, the family room and kitchen. And so even in seeing the good, the bad, the ugly, we trusted this principle we call chiropractic, this way of life that we all live. But in that, there is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so principle 29 tells us that the is, um, there can be interference with the transmission of innate forces. And so when we look around in our life, we see a lot of interference going on in our world with the transmission of innate forces. Now I call um, innate intelligence, God within. So we see a lot of chaos happening. And I spoke to this on my last update that quite potentially what we're seeing is a healing and not a riff. And I'm going to stick to that. That there has, is, and will be interference with the transmission of innate forces. But there's individuals in this world who can remove that interference. And what's a great way to remove that interference? Well, you remove that interference by keep on keeping on, by in the dark when nobody's watching, you do the right thing. So back to my dad and six kids becoming chiropractors, in the dark, we saw some things that weren't so great, but we saw things that were great. We saw a man committed, committed beyond sometimes healthy reason um, to a profession and to a principle that sometimes didn't serve as children at the moment, but served the world. And so in the dark, when we make our decisions, these decisions can't be made to see how many likes you might get or how many votes you might get. That's called integrity. That's turning off light switches in a hotel room. That, hey, what's it matter? You, you're going to pay whatever you're going to pay, but it's the right thing to do. It's picking up trash when it wasn't your own. It's putting shopping carts away when they're left out in the middle of a parking lot. So there are interference and there will always be an interference with the transmission of innate forces. But as chiropractors in your practice and as chiropractors in your family and as chiropractors in the dark places behind closed doors, when we make the right choices, when nobody's watching, it adds up. It adds to our vault of life experiences and it adds to six children becoming chiropractors because it was the right thing. I'll brag a little. I don't really want to, but my point is, is I have two girls and both girls will be chiropractors. Now, the oldest became a mommy young and got married young and, and had an incredible child who actually is taking more time from her life than she anticipated. So that's on hold, but it doesn't take away from the fact that she still desires to be a chiropractor. My youngest is moving forward as we speak in microbiology for a summer class. So they've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I pray that they've seen behind closed doors the right choices being made. They've seen a mother and a father do their best to remove interference to innate forces in our home, in our family, in our practice, 
and in our profession. So I'd like to take this day to encourage all of us to look around and see where there is interference with the transmission of innate forces and do our best, not our loudest, not for likes, not for any reason, but it's the right reason. Because how we want to operate in our life is taking risks, not for fear that there's a regret, but because we want to make a difference. We want to leave a legacy. And I honestly and truly believe that chiropractic is a legacy. It's a truth. It's a way of life. And I love it. And I'll keep loving it. And I encourage you to fall in love as well. Thanks. Have a great weekend.